rise and shine. You two remind me of Dan the Ox. He was all so lazy like you. What, what happened, happened to, him? to him? Tell us, Tell us please. please. Dan the Ox lived on a farm with his family. He has three brothers, and all of them carried heavy loads of hay. His brothers were very hardworking. One of them helped the other around when needed. One took care if somebody is sick and one entertained everybody after a long day. But Dan was different. He never worked. He drowsed all day under the trees, slept behind the truck and walls of the farmhouse. All the farm animals were diligently doing their jobs. The cow gave the milk, the hen gave the eggs, the sheep gave the wool, but Dan did nothing. Lazy Dan had gotten fat. His legs were weak and his back was plump, so he couldn't lift weight. One day, Dan heard the farmer telling his wife, Dan is too lazy and he isn't working. I have to sell him. Dan was shocked by hearing this. Dan loved his friends and family and he didn't want to leave the farm. He was sad. He sat and kept thinking of it. Eventually he came up with an idea. The next day he announced a race for his friends. He said he would give all his pocket money to the winner and all the animals were excited for the race. The race was scheduled in a month. Dan started working for it. He started carrying small loads. He jogged when he was free and ran errands for other animals. He changed his daily routine. He woke up early and he worked till late, even worked for his brothers. Slowly, he developed strong muscles and his back was strong. He became fit and strong. At last, it was the day of the race. All the animals were getting ready for that race. Dan joined them too. All the animals were amused that lazy Dan was joining the race because running required a lot of hard work, but nobody said anything to him. The farmer said, ready, steady, go. The animals started running. Dan was initially lagging behind, but soon he ran faster and overtook the sheep. He started sweating, but he had to win, so he didn't slow down. Soon he overtook the cow and the buffalo. He ran faster and harder. At last he overtook the horse and won the race, but he still gave his pocket money away to distribute sweets. The farmer praised Dan for his hard work. Dan was more than happy because now he would not have to leave the farm. Yay! Dan is a winner! You can be one too. Now get ready, we have a lot to do.